hey hey Anneli here from Swedish Made Easy today we're going to take a closer look at the vowel E I say E I mean I well in Swedish it is E so that's why I still get it confused in English so the letter I uh, we're going to have a look at that have a look at the potential confusions which I think I was a very good example of right now and also check in with uh, the long and the short sound of this vowel as well. So get your notebook ready, grab a pen, so shall we. The Swedish letter I in the alphabet uh, sounds very much like the English E, but it's not. So how we say the letter I is like this, E, very smiley, very wide, E. You almost like press the tongue up a bit out towards the sides, E. Now let's have my tongue here, E. The long version of this vowel is just simply very smiley, very long, very wide, E, E. Um, such as in the word for ice, is. Uh, or the word for time, tid, tid. Uh, but the short version of this vowel um, is maybe not so different in the sound, I don't think. Um, a little bit shorter and definitely shorter in time. Um, so it's more, rather than e, it's i, i. Um, not quite as smiley, e. Very smiley long, e. Short, e. We use this one in words like the word for not, inte, inte. What else? Where else do we use it? Um, I can only think of kissa. Interesserad, interesserad, interested, interessant interesting interessant so that's the long version of the e and the short version version of the e which is e as i'm sure you can tell it is very very easy to get these two mixed up so it's easy to think of e when you hear it in swedish you might think of the english e uh, but remember in swedish that is e so e and e. That's all for today. See you next time. Hey